Uh, for many parents, it's become routine to use your phone or a tablet to distract your child when they're having a bit of a meltdown. Certainly guilty, but a new study suggests you may want to think twice about that habit. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with the downside of using devices for distraction. Frank? Well, you know, we all know why it happens. You're out at a restaurant, or you're trying to work from home, and suddenly your child begins throwing a tantrum. Now, while it's tempting to bring out a tablet or hand over your phone, it may actually cause more harm in the long run. Parents know a device can be a fast way to end a meltdown, but it comes at a cost. When parents use uh, screen time to calm a child's emotions, what they're actually doing is teaching themselves that it works, as opposed to teaching the child that they can manage their own feelings. Dr. Michael Manos is a pediatric psychologist at Cleveland Clinic Children's. He says it's important the kids learn how to manage their emotions and identify their feelings. If they don't, as they get older, they may have trouble expressing themselves in a socially appropriate way. Researchers at the University of Michigan found frequently using devices to calm kids aged 3 to 5 can replace opportunities for them to practice regulating their emotions. That was especially true for boys and children who were more active, social, impulsive, and reactive. So what can parents do instead of reaching for a device? Well, Dr. Mano says parents should help kids learn to identify and manage their emotions. You can help them by using descriptive statements like, you are very angry right now. The problem with feelings is that many times children do not know what their feelings are. They cannot give language to their feelings. They can't name their feelings. And when you're able to name something, you are better able to manage it. Now, another option is to place your child in a quiet, comfortable space where they can just collect themselves. Then when they calm down, you can talk to them about how they're feeling but keep in mind, with that being said, though, you should not send them to the ro their room as if it's a timeout and they're being punished. That's kind of a yeah. Yeah. less preferred. I think, part of the, <laughs> I think part of the problem is parents have kind of gotten out of the practice of doing it. And then, at least for me, when we're out in public, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed. And I feel like it's a reflection of my parranting if he's having a meltdown. Yes, so, so this is like, the quickest way to end it, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, and I think, you know, parents have actually become out of practice, essentially. You know, I mean, we all hate to be the parent with the child that's throwing the tantrum, but we have to think of it as short-term pain for long-term gain. Kids basically need to practice this when they're little so that they can manage these strong emotions that's effectively as they grow up and become adults. Right. Well, no. we and I'm not sure we all Life's disappointments well. coming your way, right? Yeah. No, thank all you, Dr. Right,